Okay. Hello, everybody. It's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy. Reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beattie. So I'm reading April 14th. Perfectionism. Ay, ay, ay. This perfectionism thing. Me and one of my um, friends talk about this all the time. This perfectionism characteristic we have. We're trying to be perfect all the time. When nothing is perfect, we aren't perfect. And we, but we strive for this. And it, it makes us miserable. Um, when we think it's going to make us feel... You know, it's like do the opposite. We think perfection. if we're perfect, we're going to feel good. And it ends up actually creating the opposite result. So we need to do the opposite and just let go. Go with the flow. Know that everything's not perfect. And just enjoy things as they come, including ourselves. So, April 14th, perfectionism. Recovery from codependency is an individual process that necessitates making mistakes. It necessitates making mistakes. you got to make mistakes. You got to struggle through problems and face tough issues. That's part of recovery. Facing it, healing it, facing it, dealing it, dealing with it and healing it. Feel it, deal with it, heal it. That's what I say. <laughs> okay, uh, facing tough issues. So, yeah, so, so recovery comes with making mistakes, struggling through problems, and facing tough issues. Expecting ourselves to be perfect slows this process, it puts us in a guilty and anxious state. Expecting others to be perfect is equally destructive. It makes others feel ashamed and may interfere with their growth. Allow yourself to make mistakes. Allow others to make mistakes. We're just humans uh, muddling through. People are human <laughs> and vulnerable. And that is wonderful. Oh, vulnerability is so beautiful and it's so wonderful and comforting when someone gets vulnerable with you. And when I'm able to be vulnerable, it's so much better. So people are human and vulnerable and that is wonderful. We can accept and cherish that idea. Expecting others to be perfect puts us in that codependency state of moral superiority. When you're expecting others to be perfect, you are creating a superiority about that you are superior, and that doesn't work. Expecting ourselves to be perfect makes us feel rigid and inferior. Ooh, right? <laughs> we can let go of both ideas. We do not need to go to the other extreme, tolerating other people throw our way tolerating anything people throw our way so we don't need to so it doesn't mean that we just tolerate anything that comes at us we don't need to go to the other extreme by tolerating anything people throw our way we can still expect appropriate responsible behavior from ourselves but most of us can afford to loosen up a bit so we expect to be like you know good and do the right thing but loosen up a little bit and when we stop expecting others to be perfect, we may discover that they're doing much better than we thought. When we stop expecting ourselves to be perfect, we'll discover the beauty in ourselves. Ah, oh, that's what you're, you want, right? You want to see this, like, you want to be a wonderful human being. You want to see yourself as good and, and beautiful and wonderful and worthy and valuable and lovable, right? Well, when you stop expecting yourself to be perfect, boom, you find it. Here's your prayer. Today, I will practice tolerance, acceptance, and love of others as they are, and myself as I am. This is my, this is, those words are almost exactly in my morning prayer. Um, today, I will practice tolerance, acceptance, and loving, and love of others as they are, and myself as I am. I will strive for that balance between expecting too much and expecting too little from others and myself it's all about balance right <laughs> oh my gosh awesome thanks for watching everybody have a great day